So hello again. Uh, we have reached exercise 12, which is about Boolean expression. So it's an expression tree also. So they are telling us that a Boolean expression can be expressed using a binary tree uh, of strings. So we have strings here, not just integers and in in, uh, in ter internal nodes. So the ones that uh, not leaves. So they are the logical connectors and or are not. And leaves are the Boolean variables. So, for example, the expression a1 and not a bool 2 or bx30 can be expressed uh, in the following. So, here in not, we have uh, chosen that uh, the expression would be on the right. So, the left children would be always equal to null. So, and we have an interpretation. So, an interpretation of an expression is represented by a set of pairs, a variable, and value that associate to each variable of the expression boolean value. So we have an example here. We have three uh, boolean uh, variables a1, bool2, and bx3. So an interpretation is that we associate to, to each uh, boolean variable uh, a boolean value, which is either a 1 or 0. It means either true or false. So we have the expression, which is a boolean uh, uh, binary tree, sorry, and an interpretation, which is a set of uh, boolean of values of pairs of boolean variables and their uh, logical uh, value so uh, they are telling us assume that we use a binary tree dynamic interpretation give the declaration of the types interpretation and expression so expression is just a binary tree so it has uh, a node so the node the data is, is a string so and we know that and not all the boolean operators they do not exceed the four characters three characters if we, go, we count also the bachelor as zero and an expression is an array of couples where each couple is uh, uh, an array of uh, an array of string so it's a string array of characters and an integer which is either one or zero so this is for the first and second we need to write a function that returns the boolean value of a variable in interpretation if it exists so if we have the array of interpretation and if i gave you for example a variable a1 you should give me the one so i need to loop over uh, the uh, interpretation the interpretation and check if there's uh, such variable and then i will return the value so let's start so i have started with the declaration here so we have um, uh, and the couple, so uh, since we have uh, an interpretation is array of couples, so the couple is about a variable and a value which is either 0 and 1, and an, an interpretation is an array of couples. So I have uh, set the maximum number of couples to 100, and the size here is just to know how many couples we have in the interpretation. As for the expression, it's a normal binary tree, so we have the left and right pointers, and we have the uh, node which is a, a array of 10 uh, values. So the new here is that look well. So I have used type def char element 10. It means that in place of an element, I can place 10 characters. So you, you read it in this way. So in, in, instead of uh, element, there's a char 10. So instead of these, you can just write element of, and it's called value. So it will be the same. So I will keep it like this. So we need to write first find val. So we uh, have a, 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 a variable v, and we need to find its value in the interpretation. So the end, the return value end, it means that maybe I cannot find the variable v in the interpretation, so I need to return zero. So forcibly, I need to loop over the uh, set of interpretation because here we have a, a size element. So we have size elements, uh, size interpretation. We have size variables. Uh, boolean variables and we need to check if v here is one of these elements so i loop over the interpretation so i equal to zero i less than so i n dot size because i know the size i plus plus and i need to compare so since we have strings we need to use strc and paste string comparison so uh, if it's equal to zero it means they are uh, uh, equal so i will use not so in dot array of i, if it's equal to v, it means that I found the uh, Boolean variable in the uh, array. So I need to return the value. So we have a pointer value, which is equal to in dot array of i. So this is the couple. And in the couple, we have var and val. So it's var. So we didn't compare. So here it's in dot var. 
So I compare the, the, the name of the couple with the value and of course I will return one. In case I have looped over all the array and, and I didn't find the uh, variable, I will return a zero. So this is for the finding the value. Let's move to the, th the third question. You need to write a function uh, evaluate interpreta interpretation expression and value that computes the value of the expression e according to the interpretation i. So we have an expression which is a tree. We have interpretation which is an array of uh, variables and their associated values. And we need to find the value of this expression. So what it will return. So here for example, if a1 is true, bool2 is false and bx30 is true. So we have here or false or true is equal to true, not true, false. True and false, so we need to return a false. So how we will do that? So it's just a traverser, so we will do the normal traverser. However, here, in order to compute the value here, I need to find the value on the left side and on the right side. So it, it's the same traverse that we do on binary trees. So, and whenever I'm on a leaf, so there is no left and right chart, so the, I, I will just use the uh, second function, which is find value, in order to find the uh, Boolean value of this uh, Boolean uh, variable. And if it's not uh, a leaf, so we have two cases here like not so it has just a right child and other uh, connectors they have uh, two child two children so in case of of uh, or and and so uh, we will uh, evaluate the left and right so we'll get two values and in or so i will choose either uh, the, the, if, if, if there's one so i will choose one and if it's and i will choose the, 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 so I will do the AND operation and if I have not here I just make sure that there's no left chart because if there's a left chart it means that the tree is, is wrong so I will need to uh, compute the 1 minus the uh, right side so let's write it so we will do it uh, uh, recursively of course so we have here the interpretation, the expression and the returned value and here end it means that if I can evaluate the uh, tree because sometimes maybe we have some error. So obviously, so we will need some variables, I will uh, uh, write it later. So the stopping condition is where the tree is uh, empty, so if e not e, so if e is equal equal to null, I will return 0. It means that there's nothing to evaluate. However, so if I'm on a leaf, so if e arrow left, not e arrow left, so if e arrow left equal to null and e arrow right equal to uh, null, it means that we are on the leaf. So what I should do is that I would return the evaluation, so I have just a Boolean uh, variable, so I will return the uh, its value. So i n, so the variable here is e arrow uh, value, and I would so here we have the pointer, so we don't need to, uh, it's the same. So it's a pointer. So this is it if uh, the, the stopping condition. So otherwise, I need to evaluate the left, uh, left side and right side. So evaluate here. So we need a, a return value. So we need two integers. So I will call it int bl and b right. So it's just for left and right. So th those are not the values. So we need also two variables for the values here. So v left and vr so i would say bl so it just if it's if it's evaluate can we evaluate the left side so it's evaluate so we always have the same interpretation we have always the same expression and here we'll have address of vl so we will get the value on the left side and the same will be done we didn't say it on the left so in the expression here we would say e arrow left and we will do the same on the right side so B right, evaluate, right, and VR. So here we need to do the checking. So either if it's not, if it's and, or if it's or. And so let's start. So uh, uh, in order to have not, so we need to check that the, the B left is equal to zero and BR is uh, equal, uh, is not equal to zero. So if not strcmp because we are using strings, so e arrow value if it's equal to capital not. So what I will do, I will check if everything is okay. So I will do the opposite. So if BL is different than zero, I will return uh, zero. Or if BR 
is equal to 0, I will return 0. It means there's something wrong here. Because BL should be equal to 0 and BR should be different than 0. And in the case that everything is okay, so in value, I would place 1 minus the right, uh, the VR, the right value. So if in the right side I got 1, not would be 0. If I got 0, not will be equal to 1. And of course I will return 1. So however, here I need to check that I have both values. I have BL and BR. So before that, I will check. So if not BR or not BL, I will return 0. So forcibly, I cannot place this here before because in the case of not, uh, uh, there's one of these uh, va uh, values are equal to 0. So I cannot place it before. So here it means that I have both values. So I will check. So if not strcmp is equal, for example, to and. So if I have an and, so the value would be equal to VL and vr otherwise the value would be a node between these two and of course i will return one and this is it for this function so we need so later we will uh, do the tests because i need to write the function to construct the tree so we have also a, 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 a question so we need to test whether a given expression is valid true for all in interpretation we need to, to test the validity so it means i have a multiple interpretation i have a multiple uh, values for these couples so and i need to check if the expression here is true in every interpretation so so i have here an array of interpretation i have the number of the interpretation in this array and an expression e and i need to check if it's all the interpretations are true so it's very easy here and i just need to call uh, the evaluate for each interpretation and they must be all uh, true so for that we will uh, use a loop and we need uh, let's see if we need it or not so for i equal to zero i less than number of iteration interpretation and i plus plus and i need to evaluate so if i cannot evaluate uh, this uh, one of the interpretation maybe there's some variables missing so array of interpretation of i so this is the, the, the one of the interpretations so i need to pass also the expression here and i need to get a value so i need a, a variable so let's call it v here so if if it's not uh, if i cannot evaluate it means that i will return minus one it means there's there's something wrong otherwise again so if uh, v is equal to 0, it means that uh, the value of the uh, evaluation is equal to 0, so it's equal to 4, so there's no need to continue because it will never be valid, so I will return a 0. So in the case I have finished the for loop, it means that all the interpretations are true, I will return 1, so as the easy as that. Let's move now to the construction, so the construction is, uh, is just a binary tree, so I could have kept d binary tree so however i have changed here b3 to expression so let's do it uh, let's call it expression 3 and we do 3 equal expression malloc size of struct node and we will fill it so if we'll do that also if not 3 return null and then three arrow so let's see what we have in the expression so we have a value and value is a string so i cannot place equal i need to do str copy so i copy in the value element e and then three arrow left equal to left three arrow right is equal to right and I will return the tree. So this is it for the construction of the binary tree. So here in the in the task, so we have an expression. So I have constructed the same uh, tree here, the same Boolean expression. 
So as for the interpretation, I have also created uh, the interpretation. So in this side, I have placed T and have created three uh, couples. A1, which is uh, the value is equal to true, uh, Boolean 2 is equal to 0, and Bx30 equal to 1. And I have called the evaluation. So evaluate function will return the value of the expression here and the result if it's correct or not. So let's see if we have some errors. So obviously the value would be equal to 0 as you have seen. However, if I change here Bx30 to 0, so 0 or 0 is equal to 0, not a force equal to true, true and true is equal to true. So I will place it to 0 and see if we have evaluation here equal to 1. So it's equal to 1. So this is it for this exercise. So you can also check for the expression trees in the set of exercises, additional exercises. And if you have any questions, do not hesitate to write me. And I will answer you back. And again, thanks for watching.